Okay, we're going to do the head and the neck first. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to come in and I'm going to introduce myself to the patient. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm going to be doing your assessment. Nice to meet you. And then I'm going to be checking his name band to make sure I have the correct patient. And then I'm going to provide for privacy. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let the patient know that I'm going to be feeling his head. So I'm going to palpate the skull to make sure that it's normal cephalic. There's no lumps. There's no um, tenderness. So you're going to ask the patient if it's um, painful. Oh. The patient. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is check the head. Uh, I'm sorry, the hair. And I'm going to run my fingers through it to make sure that it's um, there's no falling out of the hair or anything like that. I'm going to check the texture and the color, and I'm going to make note of the. Of course, his hair is brown and his texture is smooth. Facial <laughs> symmetry. Okay. Then I'm going to um, inspect the facial symmetry. So I'm going to look at his eyebrows, make sure they're symmetrical. His eyelids, his nasal nasal labial folds. And the sides of the mouth, they all look symmetric to me. The temporal temporal artery. Artery. Now I'm going to palpate his temporal artery. So I'm going to go here and make sure I feel it. I'm going to rate it from... Feel regular, smooth. You want to make sure the pulse is regular and smooth. And then I'm going to rate it from 1 to 3. 1 being weak and then 3 being bounding. The normal is 2. Then I'm going to move sinuses. on to the sinuses. I'm going to check his frontal sinuses. I'm going to ask him, does he have any pain as I palpate it? No. Then I'm going to move to the maxillary sinuses. I'm going to ask him again, does he have any pain? Then I'm going to move to the orbital bone, make sure that it's intact. Then I'm going to ask the patient if he can smile for me, show his teeth, and puff his cheeks. And that's checking the facial nerve the fa and lift his eyebrows, I'm sorry. And that's checking the facial nerve, which is number seven. Then I'm going to check his TMJ. And I'm going to ask him to open and close his mouth. I'm going to make sure that the movement is smooth and that there's no clicking or cracking. And now I'm going to check for him. Also, when I'm checking the facial, I'm going to ask him to close his eyes as tight as possible. And I'm going to try to open it. If he can keep them closed, then that's the cranial nerve number three, which is the now we're ocular. Do an assessment of the neck. I'm going to begin by saying his head is positioned and centered in midline. His accessory neck muscles are appear to be symmetric and equal in size, and the head is erect and still. His skin, upon touching, is warm and dry to the touch. Now we're going to palpate his lymph nodes, beginning with the preauricular, right in front of the ears. Appears to be normal, equal on each side. Post auricular, feels the same, occipital. All the way in the back in the base of the skull. Appears to be normal. Now we're going to do the superficial cervical. superficial cervical. Please turn this way. Which is right here on the sternal mastoid muscle. Feels to be fine. And the posterior cervical, which is in the triangle, right behind the sternal mastoid muscle. Is that tender? No. Oh. Feels to be normal. I don't feel anything strange. And the last is the supraclavicular lymph node, which is right above the clavicle. And that appears to be normal on both sides. Now I'm going to move his trachea, see if the movement is equal, shifting from left and right. And it appears to be normal. And now I'm going to check his thyroid by getting behind the patient, having him tilt his head to the right. Please tilt your head to the right. I'm going to push his thyroid in the direction he's turning and palpate. And ask to swallow, please. <laughs> Appears to be normal. Thank you.